Okay. All right. So welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us on uh, this beautiful Friday for uh, the uh, flow monitor device demonstration with Flume. Thank you all for joining. Um, so some housekeeping notes, we are recording, so you'll be able to uh, view this at a later date if needed. Um, and feel free to share with friends as well when we send out that link. Um, your cameras are turned off and uh, audio should be muted. If you're not muted, um, please make sure that you are. Um, we will be monitoring the chat and we'll be uh, available for questions and answers at the end. Uh, please hold your questions until the end as we may answer your questions during the presentation. Uh, March is officially Fix a Leak Month here at Santa Margarita Water District. Uh, throughout the month, you can participate in prize drawings and DIY tools to help you find and fix common household leaks. Uh, be on the lookout in the mail for this uh, trifold pamphlet. Uh, inside, you'll find three die stickers where you can test your toilets for leaks. Um, if you do need more uh, die tabs, you can always stop by our headquarters, um, or you can always use food coloring to test your toilets. Um, St. Patrick's Day is on Sunday. If you have any green dye laying around, it might be fun to, to surprise the kids or, or your uh, family with, with a green toilet. Um, toilets are the number one cause of indoor leaks. Um, they're, they're the silent killers. Uh, sometimes they can be silent and waste hundreds of gallons of day, excuse me, hundreds of gallons per day without you knowing. Uh, there will not be any signs of water on the ground. Um, this water is running directly down the drain into the sewer system, which means money down the drain. And speaking of money, uh, rebates are a great way to save money and implement new water efficiency upgrades on your property. Today, we'll be highlighting the $100 rebate for flow sensor devices. Uh, flow sensor devices or flow monitor devices uh, can detect leaks and help you track your water use in real time. Um, they allow water use insights and can help you find hidden leaks before it's too late. And today we'll be discussing one of the rebate eligible flow monitoring devices called the Flume uh, with our Flume partner program manager, Katie Frick. Hi everyone, Jessica, thank you so much for having me here today. I'm gonna show my screen and we'll go ahead and get into it. Awesome. So first, a little bit about a flume um, and the components. So flume is a water monitor, um, this water sensor. Um, I have an example of one here. I'm holding it upside down. It simply straps onto um, the water meter and it measures um, flow through a magnetic field um, from the meter. And then it sends information to the flume bridge, um, which looks like this. The bridge simply remains in your home and plugs into a power outlet and connects to your Wi-Fi network. It then receives the signal from the water sensor and sends data securely into the cloud. Um, so you can get it on your phone via the Flume app. Um, one of the questions we typically get asked is how far can the bridge be from the sensor that sits in the meter pit? Um, we actually, the connection is through a radio signal, so it can sit at quite a distance, um, around, about around a thousand feet, um, depending on if there's any obstacles in between your bridge and the meter pit. Um, examples of obstacles would be like other homes, trees, um, if your house is on a hill and the sensor is at the bottom of the hill, it might decrease that a uh, thousand feet. And then it could also be more than a thousand feet if there's a pretty clear view um, from your home to where the meter pit is. And the Flume app simply runs on your smartphone um, using the data in the cloud that it's um, the information that it's getting from the sensor. Uh, the installation is super easy. Um, Flume simply straps onto the existing water meter um, using these straps here. Um, they're super easy to pull and you can adjust them as needed as well. Most people can install the device within about 15 minutes. You don't need to cut any pipes, no plumbers necessary either. Um, the Flume app simply walks you through the entire installation step by step. Um, most people are able to install it without help. However, if you need any assistance or have any questions um, throughout the 
set up our support teams available um, right through the app um, via in-app chat. They typically respond within a couple of minutes and are all super friendly and helpful as well. The Flume app um, gives you 24 seven water monitoring. It lets you see your usage in real time. The application shows about how much, how much water you've used each day, week and month. The flow rate that's currently being used if you have any water running in your home. Uh, you'll get any push notifications if Flume has detected a leak. And you can also set up customizable water budgets based on your household size or needs and breakdowns of water use by appliance and fixture. fixture. Now I'm going to do a live app demo here. Give me a moment to get everything pulled up. So here you'll see um, my Flume app. So this is my actual water usage in my home. Um, you'll see at the top here, there have been no leaks detected. Um, if there was a leak detected, you'd have a banner up there that would tell you that you have a leak. You can see the usage um, that you've used today. So I've used 22 gallons so far today. And then the water status there, if there's any water running. If you want to refresh the app, you simply pull down. Um, it'll give you a spinny wheel and it'll update the status. You can also see a rolling average of how much water you've used in the last 24 hours. So I've used 20 or 77.3 gallons within the last 20, 24 hours. And you can scroll back to see that as well. The budgets down here, um, you can see I have a monthly budget of 2,000 gallons um, per month set up. And I've used 23% of that. I probably need to adjust that to be a bit lower because I don't typically hit that 2,000 gallon mark per month. Um, if you want to set up any daily or weekly budgets, you can do that right from here by creating a new budget um, or you can edit that existing budget. And if you want to um, activate away mode when you're away on vacation, um, it's a really great feature. You can set up emergency contacts in there if you want to alert a neighbor or, or if you want a neighbor or friend to be alerted when you have a leak. Now up here, you'll see those three bars in the top left. If you click that, you'll get to the Flume menu. From here, you can see um, the connection status of your bridge and sensor, as well as the battery status on the sensor. So both mine are connected and my battery status is good. Um, the next thing I'm gonna show you is my personal favorite page in the Flume app. This is the detailed view. This is where you're able to really drill down into your, your water usage. Um, so you can see, hour, day, week, month, and year. I'm just going to go into week so we can find some good usage here. Um, you can see yesterday I used 58.5 gallons. Now, if you really want to drill into that day, you just simply click on the bars here and you can see um, how much water usage was done per hour. If you click on the bars further, you'll see how much water usage was um, initiated per minute. Now, this is likely a shower right here. Go back into the week view. Um, this compare to previous week buttons really neat. Um, I was on vacation last week, so there's not too much data in here, but you can see how much water I used this Tuesday versus last Tuesday. And down here, um, you can compare different weeks as well as you can see usage categories. So you can see um, how many gallons like your shower, toilet, clothes washer, et cetera, I used. And these are just the appliances that I have in my home. You're also able to add in irrigation, um, dishwashers, and I think that might be it. I think um, water softener is a category as well. You can see your usage overview here down at the bottom. And the next thing I want to go over um, is notifications. So if you have any notifications, you can see them right here and you can delete all of your notifications. These are some Old notifications from when I had um, some power outages a while back. You can also see um, the notifications from going to menu and clicking notifications. Next, um, this in the settings, you can adjust your um, notification preferences. So if you want to be notified via push or email, you, you can see those here. And you can toggle on alerts for usage, budget, um, if your Wi-Fi disconnects on your bridge, um, your water sensor batteries are low, or if your water sensor has shifted or fallen off your meter, you'll be alerted. And under usage alerts, um, this part's really cool. This is where you can set up any custom alerts. Um, these two alerts that are in here come with um, the app by default. So the Flume Smart Leak Alert will alert you if any water is running for two hours. 
and the high flow alert will alert you if five gallons are running um, for 15 minutes. So if you have a pipe burst, um, that's what's going to notify you. And you can also set up what we call do not alerts, and those will uh, make sure that you're not alerted for a specific alert during certain periods of time. For example, if you irrigate from 2 to 3 a.m. on Tuesdays and you want to make sure that your high flow alert isn't going off during that period of time, you're able to set that up um, right from in here as well. And another section is the flume referral section. If you absolutely love flume, you're able to refer your friends and family. Um, your friends and family will get $20 off and then you will get a $15 Amazon gift card as well. And if you need any help or have any questions about Flume at any point in time, you can click the contact Flume button right here and that will um, lead you to our amazing support team that'll be able to answer any questions that you have. So that is it for the live demo. <clears throat> Next, I want to know um, that we highly recommend checking the compatibility of your meter. While Flume is compatible with most meters, it's still good to check, and then you get to go and figure out exactly where your meter is as well. I know I personally didn't know where my water meter was before I started working at Flume, so it's still a bit of a um, scavenger hunt to go and find it and then open the pit, see if it's compatible. Um, to check compatibility, you can go to our website and there will be a green button that appears on the bottom right. You just click and open it up and there will be this compatibility checker here. You can also send a photo of your water meter into our support team at support at flumewater.com and they'll be able to let you know if it's compatible as well as answer any other questions you might have. Now to purchase a flume, um, you can purchase one at flumewater.com forward slash SMWD. And the normal price for flume is $249. So you get some really awesome discounts being a uh, SMWD water user. So you purchase your flume at $199, you install your system, and then you can apply for a $100 rebate at SoCal Water Smart. So your the price will be $99. Um, however, we are running a sale for Fix a Leak Week with SMWD um, that runs March 16th to the 24th. The total cost, if you buy during this time, will be $89 um, plus tax and shipping after the rebate. So you get $10 off there, which is always a little bit of a nice incentive. And I also want to note that we have a partnership with Rainbird um, to simplify your watering routine. Sienna Margarita customers can get a Rainbird controller for free. Um, Jessica will send out this link after, but you essentially purchase the RC2 controller for $150. That's normally $230. You install the controller and then you can apply for the rebate through SoCal Water Smart, like you do for your Flume rebates. And then once you install it, you can connect um, the controller to Flume. Our integration's not quite complete yet, um, but once it's complete, hopefully within the next couple of months, you'll actually be able to see how many gallons each zone of your irrigation is used. And just want to thank everyone for their time here. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to pop them in the chat and I will hand it back over to Jessica. Thank you, Katie. Yes. Um, yeah. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. Um, again, we'll, we'll, we will be sending an email with all the links and resources mentioned during this presentation. Um, and then everyone that has attended today will get the uh, opportunity to be entered into a raffle for a free Flume device. Um, so definitely stay tuned for your email to see who the winner is. Um, so first question uh, we have in the chat, there are there's some water in the meter box, uh, probably from rain. Can Flume still be installed there or does the space have to be absolutely dry? That's a great question. Flume is actually waterproof um, and it can be installed in a meter on a meter um, with water in it. If the flume is submerged, it may disconnect at some points. However, when it reconnects, it will backfill all of that data um, into the flume app. So you'll never lose any data. Um, so if there's just a little bit of water in the meter pit and you put it on your meter, um, as long as it's not completely underwater, it will still function. Um, I think that answers the question. Perfect. Um, and then next question, uh, will this presentation be available to view later? Yes, uh, so it is being recorded and it will eventually be up on our YouTube channel.
looks like. Um, and then is the flume pretty easy to install by the homer, homeowner? Yes, flume super easy. I've installed several myself um, and I don't consider myself a particularly uh, handy person. So um, super easy. You can install it within about 15 minutes. All you need to do is connect the bridge to Wi-Fi. Um, similar to setting up like a ring doorbell or any like smart home device. And then you simply strap the water or the water sensor onto your meter and you're good to go from there. Great. Yeah, hardest part is probably having your uh, Wi-Fi password available. <laughs> <laughs> or finding the water meter. Right, yes. Um, okay, and then... Um, how do you check if the water in the meter is from the rain or a leak near the meter box? Um, so, you know, if it is still there after we haven't had rain for a while, you can always call us and we can inspect uh, the meter box for a leak. Um, and then kind of going back on the submerged flume, um, if it's quite full for a couple of days, would it ruin the device? Um, what is, you know, the temperature or uh, element elements that it can um, take? Great question. So it will not ruin the device. The only thing that will happen is that your flu may disconnect temporarily. Um, however, most meter pits will drain on their own, or if you want, you can kind of scoop it, scoop the water out of there. Um, but once it reconnects, all that data um, will be stored on the device locally and it'll backfill it to the bridge. I can't remember the exact temperatures, um, but it's neg I want to say it's negative 50 to 100 and something degrees. So it's pretty weatherproof. Um, and in most states and most homes, you won't have to worry about any like temperatures or water issues within the meter box. Great. And it looks like Sonia actually purchased one and installed one herself. Um, looks like I pumped out the water meter or water from the meter first because uh, you do have to take the picture to submit for the rebate. Um, and she said my meter box usually has water in it and I have not had any issues with it disconnecting. Awesome. Glad to hear your flume user, Sonia. Uh, and then Kai is asking, what is the return policy? if we try to install the flume, but it does not work out? We typically have a 30 day um, return policy. So once you get the device, um, you can return it within 30 days. However, we're pretty flexible on that. So if you've been using it for a couple of months and it's just not working out for you for whatever reason, contact our support team um, and they can make a decision from there. And then Diana, um, she's asking, I'm in a community where I think several meters might be in the same area. Can we have someone from SMWD come out and show us where my meter is? Um, so we can. Um, now I do recommend, um, uh, sometimes we will label them. Like if you're in a multifamily, we'll say, you know, unit A, B, C. Um, but if it's not labeled, um, you can also take a look at your water bill. And in your water bill above your water usage, you will see your meter number. Um, so that would be, um, you know, a, it's a pretty long number, but you can compare it to the lid of the water meter um, where you read the meter. Um, but if for some reason you can't figure out which one it is, we, we'd be happy to um, assist you. And uh, Katie, I'm curious, has your flume ever notified you of a leak yet? I thankfully have not had any leaks um, so far. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Great. Yeah, but I have heard that um, it's almost like 30% find a leak with it or receive a notification. Yeah, it's actually pretty high. Um, and toilets, like you mentioned earlier, are definitely the main culprit. Um, I think it's I can't remember the exact number, but I think about 70% of customers find a leak within the first couple of months or are notified of a leak within the first couple of months of using a flame device. Um, and always check those toilets if you're notified of a leak. That's usually um, where you'll be able to find one. Those uh, toilet flappers are pretty pesky. Wow, that's pretty significant. Uh -huh. Okay. And let's see. Um, and Sonia, I'll re reach out to you after. Um, 
and let's see. Um, Kai is asking, would flume detect hairline leaks in plumbing? So maybe those um, uh, slab leaks or pinhole leaks? It really just depends on the size of the leak. The smallest amount of water that flume can detect is 0 0.01 gallons per minute. Um, so if the leak is smaller than that, you might see like little blips every few minutes or so within the flu map, but it wouldn't be enough to trigger an actual alert. However, if that leak does grow to that 0 0.01 gallons per minute, um, then you would be alerted um, as long as the, the leak meets the, the parameters of that leak alert. So that if any water is running for two hours, it has to be pretty consistent as well. So yes, depending on the size of the leak. And one more question looks like, um, is Flume capable of shutting off the water in the event of a leak? Flume does not shut up your water. It will only notify you of a leak. However, if you do have um, a shut off device, you can use Flume in conjunction with that where it alerts you and you can go to the shut off device and shut it off from there. We've had stories where people have been on vacation and have gotten a leak alert and they're like, oh, no, like I have a leak. And they call their neighbor and their neighbor is able to shut off their water at the meter for them um, before like further damage occurs as well. So it alerts you, but it doesn't shut off the water. And uh, if you do have to shut off the meter from or excuse me, from the meter, shut off the water from the meter, um, definitely call us because um, it can be quite expensive if you were to um, accidentally break something. So make sure to always call us if it's being shut off from the meter. <laughs> All right. Well, there's no more questions. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Um, we really appreciate you joining on, uh, on a Friday afternoon. Um, and again, we'll be sending out that email uh, with all the links. And uh, one of you will be able to uh, take the free uh, Flume device. So um, we'll be sure to announce that this afternoon. Thanks so much, everyone. And congrats to whoever wins the free Flume. I'm excited for you. <laughs> yeah, it's a great tool. All right. Thank you, everyone, and, and have a great, great weekend. Happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Jessica. Thank you.